Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create and connect to Azure Virtual Machine for the Windows Server 2022. Once we connect to Azure portal, click on this menu, then see here we have the Virtual Machines. Or in search resources, search for Virtual Machine. See here we have the Virtual Machines. Click on it. See, you got the same console. Here also we will get the same console. See, okay, click on create or click on create. Both are same. Click on create. Then select the Azure Virtual Machine. Then select the subscription, then select the resource group. See, I have the pay as you go subscription. If you have free trial, select the free trial. Okay. Then resource group, click on create new resource group, or if you have an existing one, select the existing resource group. Now provide the name for the virtual machine. I am giving win 2022 AZ VM. And select the region. Based on region, also cost will be changed. Okay. Select the Availability options, I am going with availability zone. Okay. Then uh, zone options, select self select zone. Okay. I am going to select availability zone as zone 1, not all 3. Okay. So select the security type, I am going with standard. Then select the image. Click on see all images. See here we have such Windows uh, server, select it. But see here, this is the server core, data center server core. If you scroll down, see here we have the Windows Server Data Center. It is not the core. Okay, select it. And once we selected, see this is the estimated cost per month. Okay. Then architecture x86. Then run with Azure Spot Discount. I don't want select the size. Size means memory and virtual CPUs. See by default it has selected standard because standard BTS because I have already used recently this okay if you want see all sizes click on see all sizes i am okay with this one so select it then provide the administrator account then provide the password see password must be between 12 to 123 characters Then inbound portals, HTTP, HTTPS. See if you have an existing license, you have to select this one. Otherwise, click on next. See OS disk by default, it has selected 127 mega gigabytes. Okay, and OS disk type, I am going with standard SSD. Then delete with VM. See when once we delete this virtual machine, this OS disk will be deleted. If you don't want to delete OS disk. Then you have to uncheck. I want to delete. So, if you have an existing disk, you have to click on click on attach an existing disk. If you want to create new disk, you have to click on create and attach disk. Okay. So click on networking. See, this is the I don't have any virtual network, so it is going to create this virtual network. And if you want to give your own name, you can create it. Subnet. And this is the public IP. I want public IP. Nick Network Security Group. I am going with basic public in models. You have already selected. I am not going to change anything. Then click on management. Here I am not going to change anything. If you want to log in with Microsoft Enter ID, how to select this one? I don't want. So click on monitoring. If you want set alerts, you have to click on here. I don't want. If you select it, see here we have to select these options. So I don't want. Close this one. See, this is the estimated cost. Okay, then click on advanced. If you want to provide any custom data to this virtual machine, you have to provide here. If you want to enable user, you have to check this checkbox to provide user data. I don't want at this moment. So, click on tax. If you want to provide any tax, provide tax here. Now, click on review and create. See, this is the summary. If you are working with all these settings, you can click on create. See, this is the estimated monthly cost. If you go to networking. See, this is the cost for the each component like VM outbound transfer, estimated data transfer, and etc. Okay, if we reduce this one, cost will be changed. Okay, disks 128. Okay, so if you are working with all these settings, then click on create.
see deployment is in progress this may take time i will assume whenever deployment is completed See deployment is completed. Now click on go to resource or go to resource. Or click on home, then click on virtual machines. See here we have the virtual machine. Click on it. See this is the summary of the virtual machine. See this is the public IP and this is the virtual network information. This DNS name not configured. Just if you want to configure, just click on not configured. And the st status is running. This is the resource group operating system type. These are the properties. Now we will see how to connect to this virtual machine. Click on this copy to clipboard. Now open Windows Run, then type MSTSC. Hit enter, paste it, click on connect. Provide the username. Username that I have given is demo user, then provide the password that you have provided at the time of creating. At the time of creating virtual machine click on ok click on s Close this one, minimize it, run the window, Windows run, then run the Win VER, that is version. See, we have installed Windows run, Windows Server 2022. And see here, version is 21H2. Okay. The, also, we can verify, open any folder, right click on this PC, properties, see here, edition is Windows Server 2022 data center. Installed on this one. This is the OS build number. Okay. If you want to see, this is the device name. If you want to rename, you have to click on rename this PC. Click on this PC. See, this is the 127 is the size that we have given. At the time of creating this virtual machine. If you want to exit or log off, just say, click on power, then disconnect. Still, if you want to restart here also, we can do that. Click on restart or click on stop, click on connect. See here we have the connect button. Okay, see this is the RDP port and this is the username and this is the IP. Okay, you can also native RDP connection. Just click on download RDP file, keep, then open the RDP file, then click on connect. Then provide the password for this user that we have given. Okay, click on S. See, this is another way. See, we have successfully connected. Now, Windows run, log off, hit enter. Again, if you want to go and see the properties, if you are not using this anymore, click on stop want to delete this virtual machine permanently you have to click on delete then select the, i have read and understand the understand that this virtual machine as well as any selected associate resources listed above will be deleted so if you don't want you have to select all this and you have to click on delete just i am showing you if you want to stop click on stop then click on s if you we are not using and if, if you keep this as on so charges will be there for entire use. I strongly recommend if you are not using, click on stop. If you are not using anymore, click on delete and delete. Okay. So in this video, we have seen how to create and connect to Azure virtual machine for the Windows Server 2022. For more Azure or Windows 
ट्यूटोरियल्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू